Joining us right now in studio, Kelly Shay. Hello, hello, hello. Wah guan, wah guan. I am good. How are you? I am good. It's a Monday. You know, na pa Monday suna normally good, but so you know, I feel good today. I'm hey, man. good yesterday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know the thing. Sunday, Monday. Yeah, not too. <laughs> right now, you just know, yeah. This is what you see. Just say that it just activates you. You know, so I go up to some yeah. Sunday, Monday food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good feeling, but I'm Monday Believe afternoon. Believe me, you don't feel bad at cook, especially no. after a hard day after work. Are you no, and the, it's like the seasoning soaking. Sure. What? You know, you know the thing. You know the thing. <laughs> Alright, so talk to us about who Kelly Shane is. Uh Kelly Shane is well, most. People that actually know me, know me as a makeup artist. I've yeah. been doing makeup for years. But I just put a single out. It's my very first single. I was featured on Tanya Stevens' album last year. Okay. So we have a song together called So Damage. And now I have another single, which is my very first, with mm. this signal Ain't That Loving You, which is a cover by Alton Ellis. All right. And um, you're, you're no stranger to the, to the industry, but when, you, when, when did you start doing music professionally? Ah, professionally. <laughs> That's such a big word. Oh I started recording music in the pandemic. Oh. Yeah. I went first as like a plus one with Tanya mm -hmm. going to the studio and she was just like, you know, this is a comfortable space. I was always afraid to do music. She always really? tried to encourage me to Why do it. Why were you afraid to do music? I don't know. I just see like some big, some big shoes for stepping on. You know, really being my mom. It's so. it, it, it not that hard, you know? It's not that. I mean, you don't have the talent already, right? I mean, yeah, you believe no, in yourself. I, I, you know, I, I do, I do, I do. I was just a little shy. Yeah, I yeah. Nah, I, I, I've been there. I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> believe me. All right, so talk to us about your new single. Ain't that loving you? It's actually a rock steady. Well, originally it's a soul song, but mm -hmm. the version that I did a cover of is the rock, the rock steady version by Alton Ellis, and it's featuring Busy Signal, of course. You know, big bad artist Busy Signal. He really killed it. Yeah. And uh yeah, it's out now. It's from Tad's record. All right. And I have a I have a song here that's called uh, So Damaged. That's the one with me and my mom, yes. Yeah. So we say well, can I can I give the people a piece of this one? Of course. I'll All right, that. see it to people. So damage right now at the bridge ninety nine FM. Taddy Stevens featuring Kelly Shane, so damage. Coming at you right now. And tell me, what inspired your writing process? Like, do you go in the studio or do you write songs before or do you do like a Jay Z thing where you just go in the studio and say, oh, we just go, vibes are sung on. Actually, yeah. I write it long, long before. Wow. Long, long, like just little ideas and like you hear something in your mind or you have a quick idea, you're not really sure where it can do, and then one day you hear a rhythm and you say, you know, so that could affect you, though. Yeah. And you hum it out and you whisper it out and you go in your bathroom so nobody in your ear. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so your first tour as a child with, um, with your mother during school vacations, how has that shaped your perspective of the industry? Uh, I think it makes me a little bit more realistic about it. Mm. I've see, I've got to see it for what it was and not like be idealistic about it and just kind of like to say it's a real business. Yes. And it takes a whole lot of dedication and time and effort. It's not like, oh, people like your songs and now they're going to come on your show. And no, there's a lot that goes into it. So I think that was the benefit yeah. of traveling with her. Yeah. And you know, earlier when you said that you have big shoes to fill, trust me, I, I, I am a, a son of a, a person who was in the business. You know so I know goes. exactly what you mean when you say it's a, it's a, but trust me, when you, when you know that you're good at your craft yeah. and you work hard and you're dedicated and you respect the craft, you just do it. When you, when you step on stage, that's the truth. When you step on the stage and you go out in front of the people, they just come automatic like boom. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm still at that point where I'm just looking like, whoa, they're staring at me, whoa. Yeah. But yeah, to be honest, there's a, a point at which you warm up. Well, for me anyways, where I warm up and I don't notice that I'm in front of people. Mm, yeah. I'm just singing. You just do it. It's like, yeah. it's, it's, it's there. It's, I mean, it's, 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 I think it's a born talent. It's something just, it's just in your blood. You it's know? flowing in a certain yeah. way. All right, so can we expect any EPR album soon? Uh, I'm still kind of writing music. I still mm. kind of finding, I guess, my little process of doing it. Yeah. And so far, I still a ride upon the excitement of Jesus Christ, I have one song with Busy <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Which producers have you worked with so far? So far, I've only worked with Tads. With only Junior Tads? Tads, yeah. Okay. So far. Is there any producers that you'd like to work with in the future? You, you, you love them sound? Ah, uh, wow. 
Wow, wow. Off the top of my head, I... Ay, 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 ay. I have a lot of names in there. <laughs> wow, it's so yeah, much. I'm so far. Um, I love Steve McGregor. Mm. We come from that year that I've just yeah. been obsessed what? with Steve McGregor. Me too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and I'm in love. Well, to be honest, some of whom I also did want to work with to the past, unfortunately. Really? Like oh, cool. Coxon. Oh, okay. <laughs> very, very kind of like that way that's, you know, it's trivial because lots of people have different stories to say about Coxon, but I think he he shaped the Rocksteady era a certain yeah. way, and yeah. I love that era. Yeah, me, I was just playing something. Yeah, I'm I super around, old yeah. school that way. This, so, me yeah, Coxon. So Mr. Love yeah. Coxon. <laughs> so you know, you, I, I, I can picture you on a um, old school rock steady beat for you because you know Bitty McLean does a lot of music yeah. like that as well. And I his love music Bitty is McLean. Dope. Oh yeah, my man. god! Yes, man. Bitty McLean is like being inside of a time capsule and yep. feeling it. You know, yep. I like him sing with a certain soulful. Ah, oh, passion. Yeah, man. Bitty, big, big up Bitty McLean. But all that very, very, very love talented. Bitty McLean. Yeah, man. So tell me now where the people that can find up on social media. Uh, on Instagram so far, I don't have a Twitter or anything else. It's Kelly Shane Jam, K E L L Y S H A N E Jam, as in Jamaica. And uh, on YouTube, I don't have a YouTube myself, but you could find my video with Busy Signal on Tad's Record Vivo channel. So, yeah. so far, that's it. And you made the right decision by not being on Twitter. Did yeah, I never know? really got into Twitter. <laughs> no, I was, I, I, you know, uh, I saw a picture the other day that said that um, it's my Twitter anniversary. It's been 14 years since I've been on Twitter. And believe me, leave it alone, no, because I don't feel you. <laughs> I, don't, I never really got into Twitter. Uh, Twitter, Twitter, Twitter did have a little instant thing when we never understand. So you're more of an Instagram person? I'm not even really. To be honest, I social. was more, yeah, I was more of an Instagram person maybe when I just joined it. But over time, it got. I think Instagram had really good intentions at the beginning, at the but beginning. after a while, it just turned into something else, and it crazy and it hard to manage. So I just love it yep. sometimes. Yeah, you share the same sentiments. And yeah, and it moves fast, and it's like a whole separate world unto itself. So yeah, I'm never really sure. Of yeah, things. and I think social media nowadays too. It kind of impact people mental health. You know? Yeah, a lot actually. You know, and I can admit I do this. I don't look at like counts at all. Neither do I. You know, I, I turn them off for myself and I turn them off to see them too yeah. so you can't see mine and I can't see yours it don't matter I mean you know you know I turn mine off but not because you know I, I do have uh, but to me it's not necessary it never, really it never necessary. necessary. It never necessary. To me, social media did nice so back in the days where we never have likes. Believe me. And when we couldn't comment either, it was just like you post a little picture and this is what and it is. It's, it's exactly. the fun of it. Exactly. But then when it turned into, a, oh, nobody never liked my picture. You see them as troll pass on it. It's like, yo, come on, you catch ego over this? Exactly. You over one picture in my forehead. Yeah, that's how we prefer Facebook back in the days. You know? Come yeah. far from high five, you're right. Everybody me too, I had a high five. You yeah. When you went on my page, you'd hear my father step in the future. Oh, Come on, yeah. your mama. I mean, where does your mother? Mm, your mama. Yeah. yeah. I think I had um, a dub played from Narisman on my oh, page. Oh, wow. I don't play it from you are like a high five anymore. god if you had your own dope. No, I had an ATI group back in the days. Maybe you didn't, maybe you were part of that group. I had a group of like 4,000 people. Whoa, that's what you're I got into ATI. Five. No, I'm saying you're a high five god if you had your own dub plate to put oh. on the high five. <laughs> they come on, I hear name, I call everything yeah. like whoa. I didn't have my space though, you know, Yardcore, oh, no. right? Yeah, yeah, me and Yardcore had a song back in the day, so it was me, Yardcore, Damage Music, who I'm playing his um instrumental right mm -hmm. now. It was the three, it was four of us at the time, so it was a dub plate with all of us naming it. Yeah, you know, we have, we have, we have veteran of the social that's media. Sick. That's sick. That's sick. That's honestly <laughs> sick. Another thing, girl. Anyways, Kelly Shea, give thanks to Pass. It's an honor meeting you too because I heard some songs from um from DJ Rai. I heard he was playing, like, how long was that? I think it was a month ago or something. He was playing a song with you. I was like, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm loving this song. <laughs> I would love for you to add me to your um email blast. So as a song, as you just said, I will. I will. You have I will, a full absolutely. support. Absolutely. Thank you, Jesus. It's so Chow. nice. <laughs> Chow. You know the thing, go. I know I recognize talent and respect talent in a song. Obviously, good talent. You're push a talent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. And there you have it, ladies and gents. Kelly Shane passing through the studios of the Bridge 99 FM. You know the thing going on. All right, so I'm going to drop uh, the track again. Uh, so Damage with Tanner Stevens. Can you give thanks to Pastor here? Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Mm -hmm.